Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. Elon Paul here. I want to thank you all, first of all, right up front for watching me yesterday on my live stream there on YouTube uh, in regards to doing a... First, we were doing a uh, uh, kind of a run-through and checking out galaxies and stuff like that, and then afterwards we did a stranded run. Didn't quite get to the end of the stranded run. So I wanted to finish that up for you all right now, and again, I wanted to thank you all for watching. So let me go ahead and get started. As you can see, my camera's off, so we're going to leave that off for now. Go ahead and get this done. We're about two hours into that run, so let's go ahead and just get straight into it. I haven't done anything else since I uh, shut down yesterday, except you know have some dinner. <laughs> That's about it. But uh, what a what a pleasant group we had yesterday. We had a, a bunch of newer folks that uh, have never actually watched my streams before, and I want to thank you all for being there. Um, and for those of you who subscribed, of course, Streamlabs uh, uh, doesn't always. Um, alert me when people have subscribed we gained about eight seven eight new subscribers and i only got alerted for two of them so you folks who subscribed and no alert came i thank you but maybe uh, maybe you were uh you're more anonymous and you didn't want to have the alert go through so that might be understandable in most cases but hey you know feel free to watch ask questions when you guys wish comment section obviously at the end of these videos uh is always uh open to everybody and as you all know i usually respond to every single one of them that come through even if it's just a comment you said hey how you liked it that's great i'll throw a like and all that at you so no big deal there um let me see. I think I'm going to pick up this save point. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I don't know. It's going in my inventory. It sure does. Uh, I'll probably stick it in the inventory of my Pilgrim. There we go. So I don't have to carry it around with me. Starship Shield module. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. It's useless to me. I can't spend it. I can't do anything with it. Same thing with the Photon Cannon module. I can't sell them in any way. So, because there's no one on the planet to sell it to. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete them. There's no use in keeping them. Um, as you can see, we're out of carbon over here. We should have some still... Nope, we just have a little bit of condensed carbon over here. We need carbon. Bad. We do have some money. I got 722,000 units, and I've got between these two another 600, almost 700. So 1.4 million, so it would be really difficult for us to buy anything right now. Um... Not a lot of ammunition either. I'm a little low on ferrite. It looks like I'm low on everything, really, except silicate powder, of course, which we don't really need that much of. Um, looks like I'm being scanned by a sentinel right now. There we go. Okay, that's a little better. We could use a few extra batteries just in case, so I'll go ahead and just add a few there. There we go. I'll get rid of the rest of my cobalt since I don't need it anymore. Okay, good. So we've got a little more inventory space in here, but we're going to need to fill up some carbon. So let's go ahead and do that first. Switch over to my mining beam. There we go. And here we go. Uh, let's see. Where's our wonderful plant that gives us carbon? Should be a few of them sitting right in front of me, I hope. Got to be careful because there are sentinels around. See? He's upset. But that's okay, we got a good amount of carbon out of that. Let's go ahead and take our vehicle and get going. As you know, we're headed towards the portal. In that direction, anyway, so... Um, what do we got over there? It looks like we have an unknown building straight in front of us. Uh, let me see, where is the portal, anyway? Let's look at our map. Should be this direction, right? Yes, it is. Okay, there it is, there it is. So let's head to the unknown building and see what we got going on. Um, we're not interested in getting many materials. Right now, it's just buried tech. So once we stop, every time we stop, we'll see if we can pick up some buried tech and go from there. Ah, it's a trading terminal. How, how convenient. Okay. That wasn't very far at all, but let's go ahead and do this. Uh, let's see. So we're going to sell the salvage data. Okay. All right, so we're at a one and a half, not quite, 1.4 mil right now. And what can we buy? That's in here. Solar mirrors. That doesn't help me any. Uh, gold. You know, we can grab the gold and build out those things in case we need them. It's not a bad idea. I, won't, I don't mind doing it. I only need... I think I need 100, right? How much is that going to cost me? 87,000? Sure, why not? Let's go ahead into our exocraft. And we should be able to fill that out now. There we go. 
So that's done. What's it look like in our inventory? Okay. So, not too bad. Oh, we only needed 50? Well, crud. Alright, well, I'm going to put that away. We've got enough carbon now to get going. Uh, let's get... I'm going to get one carbon plant every time I stop as well. If I can find one carbon plant... Um, what now? Oh, it must be money-wise. Yeah, there we go. Capitalist, yeah. Whatever. Oh, there's one. Right there. Okay, good. And it looks like we've already got another building in front of us. Go figure. Um, take a look around real quick. I want buried tech, so we're going to need to get some materials quickly if we want to buy because we're going to come across a landing platform sooner or later and depending upon when we come across it is also dependent upon you know how much money we can make uh oh we got some right here okay got a whole bunch of it right here this one we can grab right away let me just let me grab this one first the others are a little further away and that was kind of stupid uh, yeah, you know what? Let me take advantage of that real quick. Um, all the way in. It's it's slow going, but it's, you know, one less battery I gotta use, you know? It's funny, I'm inside a cave and it's negative 20. I think it's around negative 60, negative 58, something like that, where you start getting impacted by the temperatures. And it's like negative 72, so it shouldn't be affecting you that badly. But it does. No damage to my exosuit, right? Yeah, okay, good. I don't think we're going to need any more for our exocraft, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty sure we don't need any more upgrades. Okay, there we go. And where is the damage machinery? So the... There it is. There's the... Buried tech. I don't think we'll be able to pull this one up out of the ground. I think it's too far down. Yeah, that was quite a bit down. Okay, and we're going to grab the damaged machinery inside this rock. Because even if it's just nanites, it's still worth it. Okay. Back to one. There's a couple of buried techs over there. We got a uh, an unknown building this way, so we're going to grab the buried technology. 365, 369 in that general direction, so I don't want to highlight it just yet. <laughs> Love this thing. I keep saying that, I know, I know. Should be coming up on it any moment. All right, so we got that's too far away. These have got to be closer. Okay, there it goes. One seventy-one, two forty-one. Thought I got that one, but that's okay. Shelter. Okay, that's where we stayed. Okay, so it's got to be those guys. So let's head straight for it, and we should be running across our stuff we want. Oh, what do you know? Okay. Interesting. Oh, and the unburied technology, of course. That's okay. You can scan away, my friend. I'm done. Okay. Let's see what's in here. So we're going to keep the mic open and keep running it. Bring our yap here. A hyperdrive module, also useless to us. It's great that I'm getting all these modules, but why can't it give me just an upgrade for my exosuit? Hazard protection would be fantastic. Uh, this place is kind of useless to us. This is where the other uh, very tech was. Okay, that explains it. I thought there was one a little closer, but I guess that's it. All right. So, off we go. Ah, condensed carbon. All right, let's uh, park over here first. And 
go inside. We need to get ourselves a little bit reconditioned here. More nanites. Maybe there we go. Okay, I was already on it. Okay. Salvage data, of course. Get some nanites. The other one doesn't really have much for us, so I'm going to stay out of there. Alright, let's go to the front of the building and go inside and see what we can find. There's probably nothing in there, but I'll take a look inside anyway. And we could do a pull back and look for stuff, but I don't think I'm quite in the mood for that. Yeah, there's literally nothing in here. There's a second Viking here. Let me see if he'll give us anything. Uh, we don't want to offer units. They're traceable. You can offer pure ferrite if you had any. And you can threaten to report. I'm going to threaten to report just because. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. He gave me some money. That's funny. Okay. Uh, where is our portal? That way. So we're going to look in that general direction and see what we can find. Uh, okay, we got some buried tech right there. Let's head that direction. Uh, right there. Yeah, we definitely need to... What are you investigating? I didn't even do anything. Unbelievable. I'm looking for carbon, in case you're wondering. You know, we seem to get better carbon from our multi-tool, I think, personally. Let's check. There we go. Alright. Alright, can we just pick this up? Let's see. Yes, we can. Alright. Let me take another look. Very cash. That's always worth something. Oh, we got another building. Alright, building we're going to go to. It's a little bit out of the beaten path, but uh, off the beaten path as they say, but I'm going to go ahead and head that way anyway. Because it's always good to check out buildings while you can. I'm going to gather up what I can. Yeah, you're a pain in the neck. extra carbon. Okay. Good. Alright. Take a look. We have a ton of carbon now, so we should be in good shape. I can get some rocks, too, while I'm at it. Some nice ferrite would come in handy. Some more nanites. Can we get you? No, we can't. There we go. Okay, we're heading towards that building, and it looks like they have at least a cargo drop, which is good, and that means this might be a trading place. Nope, it's just this. <laughs> Alright. But still, supplies. Oh, look at that. Look at that. This is what I've been looking for, for crying out loud. About time. And it uses dioxide to recharge it, so if we get some more dioxide, we should be in better shape. we got a ton of it already, so we should be good. I'm going to use some of that, by the way. There we go. Excellent. Well, that's a, that's a fortuitous thing. Excellent, excellent. 
Nothing better than to find one of those, man. Alright, so we are well protected now. Alright, where are we going? We're going that way. Uh, let's see, we got a portal in front of us. This is our shelter that we just visited, right? Okay, just want to make sure it's registering that we visited it. Um, we got some buried tech right over there, walking distance. Another building over there, but it's going to be a sentinel since the sentinels are floating around it, and I don't need to be visiting that. Uh, okay, that should be it. Let's go grab the buried technology up on the hill here. Doesn't look like it's very deep. Good. More money. Okay. Let's go that direction. Since there's nothing else for us right now. Very nice. Well protected. We don't have anything to worry about. I just plowed over a plant. Uh, let me see. Whoop. That was close. You're a ferret. Don't want to do that. Not what I'm interested in. I'm interested in regular ferret. I think we're going faster than the terrain can keep up right now. And since there's no sentinels around right now. I'm going to grab some ferrite real quick, as you can see. A little dihydrogen, because you never know when you might need it. So I don't think we got a ton of it, but that's pretty good. Look at all that carbon. All right. We're in good shape. Hey, while we're here... We should be able to get some buried tech over here, too. More nanites. Can we pick it up? Nope. Gotta dig for it this time. How much we got right now? Okay, we got three stacks. They're worth not quite 500 apiece. So let's say 1.5 is what we're looking at right now. Um, let me put you up here to get you out of the way. Alright, 1.5 mil. I'm just going to make some of that just in case. Uh, let's see, and we need, we need stacks of this stuff. We need stacks of this stuff. I need to get at least six, seven million. Remember, we can get an exit, we can get an explorer craft. Let's get up to the top of this hill and we'll take a look around. I should have taken a look around there a second ago, but I didn't. Not good. Um, I don't need to do that. I got plenty of carbon right now. Alright, let's take a peek. All right, so there's our portal, and it says how many hours? Yeah, well, that's on foot. Never mind. It's not going to be accurate. I don't see anything that way. Well, what do you know? An unknown grave, which means a free upgrade. Can we get one of you guys to drop down? No? Because if that guy dropped down in the Explorer craft, I'd buy it. If I had the money. I don't. So, let's check out the grave. We got the glyphs. You get them automatically because of the nature of this run. Oh, look at that. Um, I'm going to get out for a second and pick up this stuff. Opportunity and all that. I think we can pick it up. Good. There we go. If anything, we'll get more nanites. Good. Uh, now, see, the key to this, by the way, is to let your shield run down. And then all you have to do is refill your uh, shield, and you get... It's more efficient. Let's just put it that way. Nice jump, huh? Did I run into it? Almost. Eaton Towns? Is that what it said? Eaton Towns Boundary. Go figure. All right. And what did I get? Memory fragment. Let's open it up. Neural stimulator unit for our bat for our jetpack. That's awesome. That goes over here, Paul. There we go. 
What does it give us? Let's see. Nice. Nice. That's pretty good. I can handle that. All right. Um, back out for just a second. All right. Um, so we're headed towards the portal in that direction. So what do we have? Let me just check over here real quick because sometimes you pass stuff by. Come on, guys, land. Yes. I need more money, though. I should really be not as concerned about them landing yet. If we can go up here, what do you think? There we go. That worked. Now, this is some very odd terrain, so we're going to have to be careful here. Alright, there we go. I think we're past the worst of it. It's a very strange planet. It's got a lot of uh, caves, like burrows and stuff like that. I would expect it, you know what would be really neat? I would expect to see worms. The big, huge uh, worms floating around on this planet. It would make sense then, right? Wouldn't it? Alright, we're in a good spot. Let's stop here. Take another look. I had one run where I found uh, 14, I think, 14 of those, uh, yeah, unmarked graves. Unbelievable. Okay, we see nothing from up here. There's literally nothing except for that building behind us, which we passed and missed. How did I do that? That's eh, not important. You know, it's... We already got the Explorer class ship, and that is going to be one of the cheapest ships you can get. Between that and the shuttle, that's about all you can get. Um, we could do it. We do have an extra. We, I have the time. You know what I mean? Let me just turn around. It's over there. I got to get away from my ship a little bit. Come on, guys, land. I'm a trader. Let's sell you stuff. Let me just see what the building is. Maybe if I get closer and I can see it. Oh, uh, there's a dude down there. But we might have to find some uh, some technology or something. Yep, there it is. Very tech. I'll grab it. So that's worth it, at least. Okay, so you see my, my temperature's really getting down there, right? It's okay. We'll talk to this guy and see what he has to offer, by the way. Nanites, okay, good. At least he has a seat to sit on. Interloper. They're in skill of really charging my laser. Oh, well, thank you. Well, that's nice. You gave me a charge to my hazard protection. Good deal. Good deal. I don't. Th I think we're at full charge, right? Health is at maximum. Good. All right. All right. So back this way is where we're going, and I know there's nothing else around here, right? Except the shelter we came from back over there. Yeah. All right, we'll head that direction. So our portal is this way. Do we have any buried tech? I don't think we do. Let's just go ahead and head out. And we'll get to another spot and we'll take another look around. It takes a long time to get there this way, but if you don't stop, and I could say something like smell the roses, but I'm not going to. If you don't stop and look for, you know, buried tech, and other things that you can sell, then you're never going to get off this planet. And the thing is, we don't want to escape the planet, we just got to get to the portal. Right? So. Whoa, crap. Okay, good. Those holes open up beneath you and you just don't know. Alright, let's get down here. This should be good. Let's stop right here. This is a good spot. Alright, what do we got? We were on a ley line for a while there. Looks like we got some damaged machinery almost right in front of us. So we can hit the hit the I can't talk anymore. Head there. I'm just gonna look over this way just in case. Very technology module right there. I'll hit that first before we move on. Because it's close by. There we go. Okay, where is it? 
Looks like it was right here. Right there. There it is. That's an odd place. Oh, I think I know why. I think we're in a cave. That's why. This ought to be interesting. And you know what? We're going to recharge our... No, we don't have to yet. That's right, because if we get into a cave... This is the deepest buried technology module I've ever run into. And we're dropping anyway. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and recharge this with dioxide. And there we go. So we uh, definitely took a strange turn to get down here. So I'm going to do a little trick here, as you all know. Go into the hole. Oh, for crying out loud. Red. And we're back up to the top. It can sometimes damage you, yes. Not always. Alright, so we're back up to the top. That was pretty good. That was a quick way to get out of there, right? Yeah, actually, I'm going to leave it on... There, train manipulator. And did we find some place to go? I don't think we did. Okay, yeah, we're going to head over there. Damage machinery. Good. Let's go. This is what takes these runs so long, is because you're having to constantly stop, unfortunately, to get what you need. Once we have enough money, we don't have to worry about it anymore. More nanites, I hope. Good. All right. And we should have some buried tech right there. There we go. That way, I don't have to worry about it later when I try to go over it. There we go. All right, a little further, and then we're going to go... Uh, as soon as we get to the next hill, we'll go ahead and take a look around. Oh, look at that. We'll have some buried tech over here, too. We'll grab it. Maybe we'll get a trader to drop down. And uh, if we can find a crashed freighter, too, we don't really need the money, but... Yeah, see, they got an Explorer class. A couple of them. Ugh. I can just get one of those to stop. How are we doing money-wise? Let me see. Got two mil. About two mil on top of this. So not quite... Not quite four. It sucks, but there you are. Alright, let's take a look around. Got another unknown building right there. We'll take a look at it. One right in front of us as well. Any, uh, to the left. Not that I can see. So we'll hit this one first, and then we're going to hit that one. Always want to check them. Because the more buildings you hit, um, if they turn out to be, you know, crashed ships and stuff like that, the more licenses, if you get, to fly those ships. Okay, nothing here. Let me just get out real quick and get back in. Oh, wait a minute. We can probably find the other one. Hold on a second here. I feel like... Yeah, it should be over this way. We'll head that direction. Not what I was trying to do. I can't seem to get in my pilgrim. There we go. All right. Nice. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay, whatever building we were looking for, we should be coming across it right now. Let me take another look. It should be... It looks like it might be a, uh, a beacon. That's what I'm guessing. Did we drive right past it or something? Oh, there it is. We did. Just head over there real quick. Oh, 
Alright, it's one of these things again. But, we'll get buried tech over here, so let's just do it. It's just debris. Okay, and the buried tech is, looks like is underneath my ship. My uh, exocraft, yep. Okay. What do we get? Okay, how are we doing? Don't quite have a full stack yet. Alright, let's take another quick look. It looks like we got another building over here we can head towards. Again, it's kind of not in the direction we want to go, but because it's a building, we don't want to mess mess around. Oh, crud. <laughs> Lost control of the vehicle. You don't want to mess around. You never know what you might find. All right. Ah, okay. Now, this is a factory. Okay. Let's just jump out anyway and take a look. Because we could have other buildings in the distance. So this is the building. Let me just get close to it so it takes it off the radar. There it goes. Alright. Take a look. There's our portal. Stuff. More stuff. And just stuff everywhere. Okay, let's head straight for the portal in this case. I don't see anything around here that we can pick up anyway. We'll head in that direction. All right. We're in another region. That means there's usually going to be something nearby. Pop out. Take a look. Okay, we've got some buried tech to our left. A bunch of it. We can hit all that. Our portal is straight ahead. We've got knowledge stones. We already hit that building, didn't we? Nope, that's an unknown building. Let's hit the building. Hit the building first. It's in an alcove here, and I don't see an antenna sticking up, so I don't think it's a beacon. It's another dude. All right. If anything, he will probably recharge my shield. All right, and buried tech. Nope, he just wants to be left alone. All right, well, you're a piece of work, my friend. Uh, let's see. Okay, buried technology. Portal is should be that way, shouldn't it? Up oh, there it is. Okay, let's recharge our thermal protection. There we go. All right, so there's our portal. So I say we hit this over there. Three ninety one, three fifty nine. We should probably see it on the way. Well, maybe not. Boy, you kind of go distances really quick with these guys. Because that would have taken us, you know, a couple jetpack shots in order to get over there. Two oh eight, three eighty seven, two twenty three, one seventeen. We got a whole bunch right near us. Let's see, we got two shuttles there and a fighter. If anyone was going to land, it would probably have been them. Got that one. Buried tech. Buried tech all over the place over here. Um, 
I don't mind running around just a little bit. Let's hit this one. We'll hit that one. We'll come back around to our to our uh, unit over here. I haven't done a, a, some running in a while. So we'll hit this one first. Where is it? 231. Yeah, let's hit the furthest one first. And then we'll work our way back. Good. Damage machinery. And I'm assuming that the buried tech is this one. Yes, great. All right, now we're going to work our way back. 53 right there. Let's grab that one. Looks like it might be, yep, it's shallow. Uh, 177. I don't want to run too far away, of course. All right, we'll grab it. Shallow, I hope. Yep. Good. Okay, we're not going that way. There are some ancient data structures over there, but I'm going to hang out from them for a while. Okay, let's work our way back to our ship. There's two right here, about equidistant. Let's go this way. There's one there and one up there. And that's the debris I had went to earlier. Okay, let's hit that one first. Okay, I was prepared for it. Okay, is it shallow? Looks like it might be. Good. Should be one over here. Right there. Okay. More of the stuff I can grab. Good. Alright, and our ship... Hold on a second. So there's the portal. Our ship should be close by. There it is. That direction. Okay, that's fine. Uh, do we have anything in that direction no, while we're running? No? Okay, good. Okay, let's go. So that was a pretty good run. Should be right in front of me. Let's see how much... Wow, okay, well, let's see. One, two, three... Hmm. What would you say? Three and a half to four? I thought I refilled that. That's strange. I thought I could have swore I did it. Anyway. So, one, two, three million. I would say close to four. We're almost there. We get another stack of this stuff and we should be in good shape. Where is my... It's right here, isn't it? Why is it not showing up? Can I put stuff in it? Let's find out. Nope, my pilgrim has disappeared. Well, isn't that interesting? It has completely and utterly disappeared. It says it's right in front of me, but it's disappeared. All right, so what we're going to do, I don't know if this will work or not. Let's put down our save point, which it says I don't have the materials to build it because it's all in my pilgrim. All right, let me check the time. All right, let me do the autosave. Let's see if it'll pop back up into existence, because if it doesn't, we're going to have to glitch it back. We're going to have to pull it back in. So this is one of those instances where you have a rule in place for a reason that you can't pull in your, your exocraft unless it glitches out.
and you see it's no longer showing up even in my inventory. I can't even go to it. I can't put stuff in it. So it's vanished. Let's see if it'll show up now. Nope. says it's right in front of me, and it's not. And again, do I have access to it? No, I don't. It's like it does. It has ceased to exist. All right, so there's my lesson for me. I'll never do that again. All right, so can we put this down? Let me see here. There you are. What do I need? Got my silver, thank heavens. It's on me. I can make the metal plates and the dihydrogen jellies. If I had the inventory space for it. I need more. Ugh, crap out loud. Bet you it's all on my ship right now. What do you mean inventory full? Oh, secondary elements. We need 44 ferrite. Dude, you gotta leave me alone. Okay. There's five. And let's see how many jellies we can make. There it is. Make three. I need two more. Need more dihydrogen. Go figure. Should be a field right in front of me. There it is. Okay. We need eleven more dihydrogen. I'm going to head back in just a moment and take a look. Because maybe it showed back up. So this is an odd thing to happen to you, huh? Scanners literally taking a long time to regen. There's some. Okay. There we go. So now we can build it. I'm just going to build it right here. There we go. Now, question is, does it have everything still? Okay, well, we got lucky. That was really, really strange. I'm going to keep these... I'm not going to do that again. Let's put it that way. I'm going to keep that in my pilgrim for now, but we are going to not be doing that again. There we go. Okay. Okay. Let's move on, shall we? That was a terrible, terrible thing to happen. Okay, we're going to go after that. And then we're going to recharge our thermal protection. Alright, shallow. Yes, it is. 
How many are we getting? Three? Good. So that's a full stack. Nope, not quite. Not quite a full stack on that. Before we go, we got to check to see what we have ahead of us so we can make our plans. I'm always forgetting that. Okay, we just got plants in front of us. So let's head towards the portal. Should still say two hours now instead of three, so we're getting closer. How far out? 169. Okay. That didn't work out really well. I don't know what's going on here. It's... There we go. Guess we're going tunnel traveling for a little bit. We may have to dig our way out of this one. Because even with the headlight, it's pretty stinking dark here. Nope. They're curved. Let's see. This one looks like it might work. Got it. Okay, we're out. Okay. Almost found another hole. Well, Alright, got some broken machinery up ahead. Let's go ahead and stop here and grab some more stuff. And we're just, like I said, we're just about at the point where we don't need to get this stuff anymore. Nope, too deep. Oddly enough. Okay, living slime is gone. Some more nanites. Come on. More nanites, okay. Okay, yeah, got it. Okay. Before we continue on, I see there's some broken machinery behind me, but I don't want to head that direction. Go straight from now on. Uh Monolith. How far? Got a monolith straight in front of us. Not that we need it. We don't need the monolith, but we're okay. So let's go ahead and head over to that building that's over there. And it's a crashed ship, and now we have a shuttle. We get a shuttle license out of this. How's our inventory look? Good. We have one spot available. Uh, search for loot. Open the box. Let's go loot. And we can't get whatever it was. We get some get nip. Get nip. Which I can't really use. It's worth okay, but it's not worth enough for me to hang on to. So I'm going to get rid of it. And what was there? Something else in there? Oh. Okay, so we got ourselves a new multi-tool. Nice. Okay. Sure. Uh, I'll take it. I'm going to use my other multi-tool, but I'll take it. I, that's a first. I never ran across a multi-tool. So, pretty neat. Alright, did it damage anything in my exosuit? Doesn't look like it. All right, but we are running out of room. I'm going to put the... So we got, well, we got a ton of O2. Going to be used anywhere else? All right, I know it's a waste, but I'm getting rid of it anyway. There we go. We got room now. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the multi-tool. Uninstall this. Is there anything else in there we need? No. Okay, and we'll go back to the other multi-tool. Which was this guy. And we'll put this in. And this will give us a more powerful multi-tool. So we'll pull you out, put you in here. That should be better. Yeah, okay, that's much better. Good. Excellent. 
Alright, and we have to go to the ship. We have to accept it. Um, also has some upgrades. It looks like. No, no, they have to be repaired. But still, it doesn't make a difference. So it's going to compare it, and we're going to claim it. We're not going to swap it, because now we can use both of these ships for trade-in prices. So, we'll have to see which one's more valuable. So, this is the ship that we currently have. Right? No, this is this ship. And this is the ship we currently have over there. Um, worth 2.2. I wonder if we can at least fix it to pull it in. I think we can do that. So we can decide which ship we want to use. Because our A-class uh, shuttle is probably going to be worth more money. Okay, so let's going to claim it. Let's check what is its value. We have no idea. And it won't tell me. Okay, but that's fine. It won't tell me the value of it. But that's okay. Oh, do we have a... Very tech over there I've missed. Let me grab that. There we go. Alright. Some more salvage data. Four of it that time. That's good. Alright. So we've got a bunch of nanites now, right? We're up to almost 1,200. That's fantastic. Uh, we've got 1 million, 2 million... 3 million, 4 million at least. So we're up to almost, if we can get one more stack of these things, we'll be in good shape. Put the silver up here. So if we can get one more stack, we'll be in excellent shape. And then we can buy the ship that we need. So now we have two different ships we can get. Um, I forgot to do something real quick here. Portals that way. We need to take a look, of course, as usual. So it was a good thing we came over here, right? No traders stopped in, huh? We got another building right over there. We're going to head that way. And our portal is in that direction. So it's not went out off a little bit. Good. Now, if I could just get someone to land with a ship. I think I just killed, a, killed an animal by accident. Here's the monolith. We don't need it, though. So I'm going to continue on. All right, this is another beacon. Beacons don't help us, so we're just going to move on. We'll take another look here in just a moment. Love to get up to that other hill first, but let's do it here because we may pass some stuff by. Hmm, ancient data structures again. Okay, let's just go straight. Don't see anything. We are going to need some dioxide soon. Oh, building. I didn't even see it from where I was. Go figure. We'll head over here. There's nothing really here, but I will get some buried tech. Okay, I see what happened. Okay, good. Alright. Is it this one? Yeah, this one has the nanites. This one I don't think has anything, but we'll take another look anyway. Yeah, nothing. Okay, good. Alright. Portal. That way. Is there anything else that way? We have some plants. This is the shelter that we're at right now. There's nothing to our right that I can see. Some buried tech way out there, so I'm going to ignore that. Ancient data. Alright, let's just head this direction. Hmm, you can actually destroy those. I did not know that. Really? It was that low. Ah, good. More buried tech. 
we're just about at the limit, so we're almost there. We can stop doing this soon. We got the two cheapest ship as licenses, so we really don't need to stop or anything else. I gotta... Eh, okay. I'll put it in the Pilgrim. If we can fill out this stack, we need seven more. There you are. Is it deep? Nope, it's not. We need seven more. How many do we get? Three? Alright, so we need four more. I forgot. You're supposed to take a look every time you get out. And I always forget. We got some technology right there. We'll grab that. We don't really need to check for new buildings now. So, if we can find a crashed freighter and hang around for a little bit, we should be able to get a trader stopping it. Okay, three or four? We got four. That means we got a full stack. All right. So one, two, three, four, five million. So we have about 6.3. Most of the ships are going to be between, uh, are the cheapest ships are going to be about 5.7. So we finally have enough money. Thank heavens, right? That's it. So we can just continue on now. So let's just go until we uh, find something. Gra grabbing a few extra of those would be pretty handy, but we don't have to. Plus the trade-in of our ship is definitely worth it, so yeah, that'll be good. Never mind, we don't need that. So, we'll just keep our eyes open and see if we see any freighters or anything. Freighters, the reason I need a freighter is because uh, uh, traders will stop near freighters for some reason. They're more attracted to them. I don't know why. So we should be done with this hopefully really soon. We're, another, we're just about an hour more into this. Only one mishap. We've got our... We're in really good shape because we've got our hazard protection, our cold protection from and all that. So that's good. So I should go over hills, take a look around. Hey guys. Any traders? When I see two ships fly over, I look around. If I see three, I, I'll, I'll just keep going. If you see two ships or one ship fly over, and, you know, you want to kind of take a look around, make sure that nobody's landed. Gotta get some more open um, areas here. Because I want to be able to see if we have any landing pads anywhere nearby. It's another good reason for wanting to stop. But you'll you'll know when you're close when you see the uh, ship circling in the air. I want to get up to the top of this. Well, I thought it was at the top. Looks like it's a plateau. But when I reach the highest point... Hmm, dioxide. I should really get some. Okay, how come I can't get you? Hear ships. Yeah, they're flying over that way. Which way are they turning? To the left, I hope. No, they're going straight. Well, that's interesting. That means there might be a landing platform that way. Alright, we're going to head that way. I know that's a weird thing to observe. 
242. I need 30, 40, 50 more, maybe. Seventy-six. Three hundred. Get about eighteen more. Three hundred. Right on the mut right on the money there. Perfect. Do we have any yep, we do. Okay, so we're going to head that direction now. We're going to head what looks like to be due south. Kind of an odd thing to do, I know. But I've noticed that ships will do that, and I still stick by my, uh, my theory. It's, it's less a hypothesis, more of theory, and a very strong one now that's getting almost towards fact that the ships will head in the direction of a ley line towards a landing platform. And if they will head in the direction that you're going, and then they'll veer in one direction or another in order to tell you where you need to be going. And if they do that, they go straight, then, you know. Okay, there's an unknown building right there. We're going to head towards it. There's also one right over here. I don't see any ships, though, so... Whatever's over here is going to be right over the hill here. Yep, drop pod. Just curious. What is that? Is it a building? Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, it's one of those. You know, we could grab the buried tech that's over here, though. At least we'll have the extra. What do we have in our inventory? Do we have any room? Let's put this in our pilgrim. And now we do have room. So that's the extra that we can get. Two or three? Three? Okay, good. It'll help even things out a little bit. Um, south. We want to head south this direction. Take another look. Again, we don't have the best scanner in the world, so we're doing the best we can. Alright. South it is. Looks like we got a building down there. I'll head in that direction, but... I think I can see it from here. It's a shelter. Yeah, that's all. Alright, no use no use in uh, going there. Okay, this fog is not good. hoping to make the leap. Got it. He got me before I got him that time. A little extra carbon. Yeah, have one right in front of me too. Grab him while we can need the fuel. Okay. Hopefully we'll get some ships flying over here in just a couple of moments. i pop out for a second take a look. No buildings nearby that I can see. Ah, that's what I was hoping for. Hey guys. Can I get you, Mr. Explorer, to stop down? No? So, let's see which way they go. A little bit to the left, maybe? Right. Now, they should break. More to the right. Okay. And I don't see them circling, so we want to head over that direction, then. 
So, okay. Because we really, really, really want to find a ship. Because it's a long way to that uh, location. But it's really interesting when they do that, isn't it? You see them guiding you almost in a direction you need to go there. Uh, whew, that was close. And there's a building over there. Another shelter, it looks like. Yep, just a shelter. That's one thing they should have. They should have auroras on these planets. In the sky. I think that would be pretty. I know the portal's to our left. And we're not heading straight towards it anymore. But there is a reason for it. Another building. There's some ships flying over. We want to see which way they go. That's another crashed ship. Look at that. Let's see which way they go. If my thinking is right, it should be up and almost straight down, but it, they're still curving to the right a little bit. Let's just see if they start circling. They are not. Okay, so it's still far out there. We're going to check out this ship. This is the third crashed ship we've come across. I have not done that in a long time where I came across crashed ship after crashed ship. And they got another multi-tool. Yeah, go ahead. I'm going to get hurt, but whatever. What do we got? My shield's down. Uh, looks like he had an A-class upgrade. So we'll get that. And I'll take it. And um, shield is down, and I've gotten hurt that bad. I've never had critical damage done before. Wouldn't it suck if something else got damaged in my exosuit? No. Wow. Shield is back up. That's good. Thing is, do we want the... Oh yeah, wait a second. So we want to go into here. We have room. Okay. Multi-tool this out. Switch multi-tools. Back to you. And we're going to install you back in here. Okay, good. So that's going to help our multi-tool a little bit. There should be... I don't know if we're going to take it or not, but we'll take it. There we go. Salvage data. Okay. Ah, 15,000, yes. Alright, let's see what we got for this ship here. It's a B-Class. It has an upgrade in it that we can uninstall. Get stuff out of it. So, here. Do we take it? I don't think we should. I think we're going to hold off on that. It seems to be worth, it worth a little bit less than the other one. So, this one we're going to hang on to. The other one, the old one. Uh, see, it's worth... Look at that, trade-in price is $8 million. I can't even imagine if that's really the case. It's probably only worth about a quarter of that, so I'm going to get like a little over 2, 2.1. Uh, this one is probably not worth as much. Less slots, too. So, okay. We'll hold off. Very nice, though. Alright, so I need to find myself some... Uh, an up, uh, what do you call it? A health upgrade there. Okay, so we're heading in this general direction now, trying to find a landing platform, or a crash freighter that we can get a trader to stop by with either a shuttle or a, an explorer class. Lord knows we don't need any more crash ships at this point.
And as I hear ships going overhead, I'm going to pause for a moment. Let's see where they go. Hoping to get to the top of the next hill. Ugh, can't see a blessed thing. Um, that was weird. Yep, we'll be filling it. Just a moment. want to keep going to the top of this if I can. Best part about these runs is that you don't get any storms. Including the meteor shower that you see occurring right now. Wow, okay, the hills keep getting higher. Alright, let's jump out right here. Pretty sure I passed all kinds of stuff by, but that's okay. Portal's over there. A known building. Ah, it's just a beacon. Okay. A lone ship flying in that direction. Guessing he's going to turn left. There we go. Okay, so we are going in the right direction for wherever we need to go to. I don't see him circling. So, alright. And we have tons of stuff in our inventory, so we're in good shape. I'm going to go and charge you up now, because I can... Still got plenty of... Will that work? Yes, it will. There we go. Fully charged. And while we're at it... There we go. Okay. Good. Let's go. say it. Don't need to stop. We're going to keep going. Don't try to run into the uh, those little cylinder dudes. They will tear you up. They won't hurt you. They'll just up oh, here ship. Three of them. There's a beacon over there. So, slightly to the right, maybe? Yep. Okay. So, right about over there. And what you look for, too, is you look to see if they start to circle. If they're starting to circle, and you're in good shape. I don't think anybody's ever noticed it before when ships do that. Pretty sure I'm the only one. I don't know, maybe Zane's noticed it and hasn't said anything, or maybe he has said something, and maybe that's where I first heard it from. It just never... Hello Games does everything for a reason. And I can't see them having a... Having ships fly over you for no other reason than to occasionally trade with you. Okay. The one rock you can't break. Hmm. Curious deposits. How curious. <laughs> so, again, it's a theory. I hear ships again, but we're not in a position to be able to track them. So I'm going to see if I can't get up to the hill before they pass over. Passed over already. Right. 
Yep, we're heading straight. See? How they changed their direction. Now they're going straight. We're heading straight towards what should be a landing platform. Then. As that's the only place that they stop at now. Now we should stop once in a while, at least take a look around our, at our surroundings. up to the top of this hill. This is a good spot. Right over there. This is good. Take a look. Come on, give me a landing platform someplace. There's our portal. We have ships about to pass over. There they are. Come on, guys. No. They're going to move right anyway. Watch. See? Told you. It's when they start circling that you know you've gotten close. And the more often they pass over... Well, that was interesting. We've got to be getting close then. The more often the more often they pass over, the closer you are to one of these locations. Another building. So we're on a ley line now. That's also a good thing. Just gather in more resources. We're going to need it. Ah, it's a factory. Fuel, but when it's required. Even had a solar ship there, that would have been nice to find one of those, but they're significantly more expensive. See? Straight up that time. So we are headed in the right direction, except they're curling to the right now. Oh, because I am heading a little bit off there. I'm supposed to be heading in this direction. Sorry, guys. Thank you. Right through. Love this bulldozer. Alright, so once we get up to the top of that black hill over there, I think we're going to stop again and take another look at our surroundings. Okay. Hey, guess what we just found? See? 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 I told you. I wonder. Hold on. Let's try something here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are home. Alright, 
We can't get a fighter. We can get shuttles. Fantastic. What are we worth here? Fifteen. Seven. I don't think we have enough to buy the seven. But if we do... Love to get an Explorer class. They're much nicer. At least we can sell to them. Trading first. First we're going to sell... 95 salvage data. Fantastic. And that's all we really need to sell. We're at 6.1 million. Uh, life form ship. Negotiate price. So our current ship, wow, is worth 6.1 million. And his is only 7.3. We can buy it for, for an exchange. Um, I'm going to do it. It's a C class, but I'm going to do it. Um, I don't like your ship, though. You know, honestly, I'm going to be picky. I'm allowed, right? I'm allowed. Since I know my ship is worth that much and we got an A class ship, that's fantastic. So I'm going to wait for an Explorer class because I want one. I don't even care what the Explorer class looks like. Look, we got a Traveler, too. Like, we need that. Got an Explorer class landing right now. As long as it's not a B class, it's, if it's a C class, we're in good shape. It's a B class for 12 mil. Ah. But can we get it anyway? No harm in asking, as they say. I'm sorry to be picky, but I'm going to be picky. That's not what I wanted. Uh, your ship. Yep, we can exchange it and only have to pay four million. Fantastic. I will take your ship, sir. I now have a ship. All right, let's go back to our bike real quick. Um, we need to make sure we get all of our materials because we are going to have to open up a portal. All right, uh, starship, here we go. Exocraft, that's what I want. Uh, we don't need the navigation data. What do we need? Let's grab that. And then it's carbon, 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 carbon. Not much ferrite. Dihydrogen. Uh, gold. Dense carbon. Yeah, I'll grab that just in case. That. Tritium, I don't think we need it, but I'll grab it anyway. We don't really need anything else here. I'll grab that just in case I need it. Actually, do I have the room? No, I'm out of room. What do I have my exosuit? I'm going to turn... Can I turn the dihydrogen into something? That's 160. Yeah, let's do that real quick. Won't take long. 150. Okay, that's fine. And then, anything else we can clear out. We'll need the sodium. The dihydrogen we're going to need a lot of anyway, so we might as well turn it into actual dihydrogen at this point. We're going to need 16 per blank spot. I think it is. It might be 24. Up to 139. Yeah, let's put the other six in. Just because. No, we are getting 160. It just won't allow us to get more than 150 normally in here. So we'll just pull the first set out. See? Two ninety nine, excellent. Okay, so this will be more, but it's good to have it. 
even though it only takes up one spot, it is handy to have. We'll need some ferrite. How are we doing on that? I think we're a little low on ferrite, right? We do have magnetized ferrite. We have a little bit. I don't think we need all the carbon. I'll go ahead and empty out one spot for the carbon. I'm not sure if we even need it, but I'll hang on to it. Okay. Hey, we're done. Alright. So we have one spot left in our inventory. That's not what I wanted. There we go. Save point? Nah. I don't think we really need the other refiner. To be honest with you, I don't think we need anything else out of here. I think we're all set. We could take it and put it in our ship. That's true. I'm sure you were thinking that the whole time. You know, Paul, you could put it in your ship. You know, you're right. Uh, let's see. There we go. That looks a lot better. What do you think? Now we can just take the rest of the stuff and not feel guilty. Again, we're going to need a little bit more ferrite of stuff. I keep doing that. I don't know why I keep getting inside. Probably because I'm going to miss it. Seven. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Alright, guys. Thank you very much for you, my friend. I'll miss the pilgrim. Can't take it with me. I'm going to sell some of the stuff off just to get rid of it out of my inventory, which is the Gek Relic and the Viking Effigy. Okay. Off to the ship. And it's just a hop, skip, jump to get over to the portal. Uh, let's see. Off we go. And where's our portal at? Straight ahead. Now how long will it take? 25 minutes? Now, we're not supposed to be allowed to go into space, but you can do so in order to get to your portal. A little quicker. I'm not going to fly straight time 25 minutes. It's ridiculous. When you can go out here and get there in 8 seconds. Well, it's about 15 seconds all total, I think. Okay. I don't have the coordinates pulled up. I'll have to pull them up here in just a minute. All right. We've landed. And here we go. 24 is what we need. Okay. All right, I need copper. That's right. I got to go find some copper. No problem. We should have enough of everything else. Except the copper. There we go. That's the only one. Okay. Alright, so we need to find some copper. We need how much copper? Let's find out. Doesn't tell us. I'm going to go with the option that we need at least 100 copper. Uh, let's take a look around. Copper 575. 226 is pretty close. Okay. That's a guess where we're going. Oh, 190. Okay, that's the closest one. Did you bounce off the top of a hill and Basically, it's just going straight up from that point forward. Nice deposit. At the very most, it'll take up 24 each slot. So, again, 196 of it would be fine. This is a huge deposit, so we ought to get it pretty easily. We're almost there. And there we go. 
That should be all we need. Uh, that way. Okay, now I need to pull up the coordinates. Yep, it was 24 each. That was right. And there we go. Portal is charged. Now before we do so, I'm going to leave for a moment. Okay. Get a, get a save point real quick. There, got a save point. Alright, and I need to look up the coordinates. Now I did that purposely just in case the game crashes. Because I have to pull up Discord in order to find my coordinates. So bear with me just a second, folks. Looks like my audio is still playing. It looks like the video is still going. I've had issues with that in the past, but hopefully this will work out. Yeah, I know. I know. Great. That's fantastic. Where is... There you are. And I have the coordinates. Okay. Let's go to the coordinate thing. And go. All right. Here are the coordinates. Soar, bird, spider, there it is. Uh, Triforce. Uh, sunset, sunset. Boat. It's the air, YMCA, uh, whale, where is a whale? Whale, there you are. Triforce again, dinosaur again, and then the boat. There we go. Off we go. And that completes the mission. So that means we have completed the stranded run. We are done. Just gotta wait to get to the other side here, of course. Not put me in an eternal portal. Oh, there we go. Okay. And here we are. And as you can see, this portal is the same for everybody. It's called Eye of the Bee Holder, the Beeple Quadrant. This is Beeple Bum's planet. And over here, I should have a. There it is. That should be my. Mine right here. I don't know why it's so high up in the air, but it is. I'm right, done. Thanks, Beebs. Well, we're going to rewrite that message. I'm going to call it number 10 under the belts. Thanks, Beebs. Okay. And there we go. And we just got a save point real quick. We're all set. And that completes out this uh, wonderful run. I want to thank you all for watching, and I hope you can please hit that like and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. And we will see you guys in another run like this. I may do one on the side as a, um, as a run for everybody to enjoy, just on a, a separate uh, run through instead of just doing the permadeath mission. I think these are more fun. So, hey guys, take care. We'll see you guys in the next video.